What's going on YouTube? Yama Yachty, welcome to the channel. And in today's episode, I'm going to be going over some simple reasons why I believe the Yamaha MT-09 should be your next motorcycle. Stick around. If any of this content interests you, do me a huge favor. Don't forget to hit the like button. If you want, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all new uploads. So guys, one of the main reasons I believe the Yamaha should be your next bike is for this exact reason driving through town as we drive through town many of us live in kind of congested areas around town this bike is really comfortable and as you know man it looks really stylish so just riding around town as you you know getting to your destination of where you want to ride to which i'm going right now to a pretty remote place to ride it just makes it a lot more convenient it's such a nice bike to ride in town Another reason I like this bike is because it's good on gas. I'm gonna pass this gas station because I don't need gas. <laughs> I fill this thing up. I mean, it probably gets about, I don't know, between 100 and 150 miles, uh, depending on how you ride per tank. I ride pretty conservatively, but the fuel consumption is really good. So I appreciate the fact that I can fill up the tank, actually get a good few solid rides in before I gotta fill it up. And in Florida, with the price of gas, it's costing me roughly about 11 to 12 dollars with premium to fill this thing up so that is a plus in itself another reason i like this bike is for the handling i mean this bike handles really well these back roads that i ride on have some twisties not major twisties but enough to enjoy the ride versus always going straight and this bike handles very well i'm here i'm riding through what's called enterprise it's a small little town this street is called Main Street. It wraps this beautiful lake that you will see here in a second to my right if I can get an opening. Look at that, guys. Gorgeous. It is a gorgeous... There's downtown Sanford right across there. But yeah, so this bike, the handling is great. And this is not the SP model. This is the base model. But for the way I ride and the things I do, the base model is definitely more than enough. It's obviously better than the previous generation MT-09, which everybody loves and adores. So you know that Yamaha had to improve this one. So for that reason, again, it's really superb. I actually enjoy it a lot. I have no need to really upgrade for the simple fact that this bike rides very smooth. So yeah, handling on this bike is absolutely great. On this bike, I could almost ride it pretty much the whole day and feel very good i get off the bike i don't have any pains even my butt like i was referring to earlier the seating the seat the actual seat feels good so comfortability on this bike as far as the positioning in my opinion is one of the best features of this bike oh i think that was a dead raccoon my bad Guys, another reason why I love this bike is for that right there. I mean, I am no track star. I am no wheelie king. You're not going to see me out here doing wheelies at 100 miles an hour in between traffic. Guys, I'm not that type of rider. You guys already know that. It's Yama Yachty. Super conservative. I got to work Monday. So for me, coming off the R1, which has amazing handling, as we all know. I mean, obviously, it's a track bike. Jumping on something like this makes it so much easier but at the same time you feel more confident i don't know what it is on the r1 i'll take a turn and i'll hit it hard but i still hold back because there's like this little fear inside maybe it's because it's such an aggressive bike and it's such has so much power that i'm worried about maybe you know like hitting the throttle too hard and low siding or whatever the case may be but this bike it just makes you feel so secure and so comfortable in yourself that you end up riding a little more aggressive not because you're trying to be a badass but because you actually have confidence in your own skill because i truly believe that this bike brings out a little more skill in the modern day rider i'm talking about the everyday guy i'm not talking about the guys that practice and go to track and uh, track days and really practice your skill i'm talking about the weekend warriors the, the night guys that just get on the bike, you go ride around town, you have fun, and you come back home, you get ready to go to work. For guys, that's me. That's, that's where I fall under. So for guys like me that enjoy great weekends and just riding around, makes me feel a little more secure in myself, and I tend to do things a little more aggressive.
Guys, another reason why I love this bike is the power. I mean, everybody can get a leader bike, and of course we all know those bikes have plenty of power. Heck, they're leader bikes. Leader and leader. Like, they're the front of the group always. But this bike here, this almost 900cc bike, just rips and has plenty of power to do what you gotta do. I don't see why I would need any more than this. I mean, this bike goes obviously over 100. This bike obviously can maneuver around cars. You downshift, it's ready to roll at any time. And the bike engine is just superb. So with all the technology and everything that's out there, they've really invested a lot of time into making this powertrain and this engine by far one of the best feeling motorcycles and performance bikes with power delivery on the market. But guys, this bike is under 10 grand. I mean, come on. I would hope that anything over $12,000 would deliver power, performance, and all these things. But to pack so many qualities, comfort, handling, and power, not to mention aesthetics and styling, all into a package under the 10,000 mark, by far, this bike has to be number one. In my opinion, humble opinion, this bike has to be number one. So those are my reasons why I feel like the Yamaha MT-09 should be your next bike. Because number one, driving around urban areas, it makes it really comfortable and super easy to maneuver. Then you have the performance, as we just demonstrated, this bike has plenty of performance. Then we have comfort, just the actual posture and the seating position of this bike is amazing. And then of course we have things like aesthetics and the way the bike looks handling the way the bike handles and for the regular guy like me i'm not out here trying to be nikki hayden or freaking rossi i'm just trying to come out here hit some of these twisties like we see here and just get home safe because i got to work monday so with that being said guys i hope that you make this your next purchase i know that there's been a lot of delays throughout the country and throughout the world getting these because of the uh, ECU and the chips and things like that. I guess there's a big back order on that. But guys, put your name on the list. It's worth the wait. I was really lucky and fortunate to get this from uh, Seminole Power Sports here in Sanford, Florida. But definitely make this bike your next bike. Put your name on the waiting list. Go put a deposit. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. And I am not obviously sponsored by Yamaha. I wish. <laughs> I feel like I say their name enough that they owe me something. <laughs> but I'm just joking, Yamaha, if you're listening. I just love your products and I love your bikes. But definitely, guys, this should be your next purchase. No questions about it. Comfort, city, handling, performance, power, aesthetics. It's got it all. And the price point, guys. But honestly, the base model for me is where it's at. I have no complaints. I will not be upgrading to an SP. If down the road I'm fortunate enough to get my hands on one at a really affordable price would i buy it of course i would the base model is more than enough guys so thanks for watching the channel if you haven't subscribed go ahead and do that hit the like if you like this video or any of my content hit the bell notifications for future uploads and until the next one guys peace